time I saw the Rubik's Cube, that's probably because you thought that it's impossible. But since I've been watching Jay Palm on his beginner's tutorial how to solve a Rubik's Cube in 10 minutes, it's pretty easy. So first you have to start with the white cross and these colors on the side. So make sure, right now I already have the green. Then this one, turn that way. And the blue one, let's see, the blue one's right here. That. So we have the red one. The red one's right here. So what you do is you twist this, twist that way, twist back up. So then the red one's right here. But now it's opposite. Do that, and then twist this way, twist it how you want to, and then twist that again. So now we have the colors lined up and the white cross. Next, what you want to do is get the second layer. The second layer, no, the first layer, yeah, the first layer. So find this piece, and you'll also be solving the whole white half. So get the orange, oh, flip it over so yellow's on top. Okay, then you see how this piece is white, which would go right here, orange and green. So we want green to go over here. So that's where that piece has to be. So then you do these four moves. Up, left, down, right. Up, left, down, right. So then that got that piece in here. But sometimes, sometimes just for practice, I like to do it with my left hand. What you do is up, right, down, left. Up with your left hand, right with your left hand, down with your left hand, and right, I mean left with your right hand. So just keep on doing that until you eventually get that piece down. So then just keep on going until you do it. Mostly what my average to solve in the Rubik's Cube is two minutes which um, people who haven't solved it would say that's actually really fast, but some people can do it in like a second. So right now, I'm just getting the last piece in using those four moves. So then you have the whole bottom layer down and the whole white section. So now what we have to do is get the whole second layer. Some of you maybe think it's impossible because you've never solved the Rubik's Cube. So what we're going to do is find a piece, since the top is yellow, find a piece that isn't yellow. So this one, match it up with its middle and green's over here. Twist it away from green and red, which would be blue. And since I twisted it the left way, use that right hand movement. And then, and then turn it counterclockwise and do the left hand movement movement. Hold up. Keep on messing this up. Pull it up. So move it away. That, 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 that. Okay, it's clockwise. Sorry. It's clockwise. Turn it clockwise. Okay, so now that, that piece went in there. So we got a red and a blue one. So turn it away. Since we turned it white, we do the right the left hand movement. Then turn it counterclockwise, do the right hand movement. Now that piece is in there. And then just keep repeating this until you have the full second layer done. So right now, um, I found a piece. I really don't have a piece. Uh, this is a piece. So, here's a piece. So, this will go over to orange, then turn it to the right, and do, I mean, turn it to the left and do the right hand movement, and turn it clockwise and do the left hand movement, and that should go in there pretty easily. And then keep on repeating that until you have the whole second layer salt. It's actually pretty easy if you just practice a lot.
just keep on practicing. What me and my dad did is practice each move until we got the hang of it pretty fast. And then technically, yeah. So now we're gonna go on to the yellow cross. What I'm gonna do is pick, I'm just gonna pick the green side for right now. Turn it. Was it counterclockwise? Counterclock, no. Clockwise and do the right hand movement. Then undo that. I just got lucky here and solved the yellow cross. You can repeat it if you want to, if if you have to, but never move the whole cube. Mm -mm. Just keep it on the thing that you have. And if when you get the L shape, make sure to put it in the top left corner when you get the L shape. And when you get here, make sure that it's always this way. Okay, so now we're gonna match up the colors these colors. So right here, now since I have two of these lined up, what you're supposed to do is put one on the back, one on the right. But if you can't do that, that's okay also. So what what you're going to do is watch this green piece. Okay, so turn it up. Turn it left. Turn this piece down. Keep going until this piece is top left. And then turn this piece back up and go around. It should solve it. What I have here, it, it solved it. Well, it didn't solve it, but it got that step done. But sometimes you'll have to repeat that. So right now we're gonna go on to the corner. So this corner is solved. Yellow, red, and blue. So this corner is solved. This one is not. This one is not, and this one is not. Solved may not may not look like it's all the way solved. Solved means that the colors are in the right position. So what we're gonna do here is twist that, twist the other way with the same side on the left, then do it with both. So what we should have is that one solved, that one solved, that one solved, and that one solved. You could repeat it, but I just got lucky and got them all of them solved. So now turn the cube over. Here's the last step. And if you mess up, you might have to mess up the whole cube. So watch carefully. The, the white should be on top. Um, I'm going to pick red side for this one. So now do the right hand movement. Now do not flip the cube. Keep it on your color. Just Flip the bottom until this is right here. So now we are going to do it. The right hand movement. And now you can turn the cube around all you want, but you can see it's not solved yet. Just turn it one and look at that. It's solved. This is the beginner's method of how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Bye.